welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and this is Christy's Closet. Let's start. So this one's going to be a short video. Um, it's my honey hole haul. <laughs> so in the reseller community, you know how you have that one store, right? That you know if you go in there, you're going to find good finds. Like it's your secret store. You don't even share it with anyone. So a lot of us, you know, refer to it as our honey hole. I don't know why, but that's what we call it. It's a sweet spot. Don't have to worry about it. You know, you know that you can go there and you're definitely going to find good finds. So this past week, I had some extra time off of work. And, you know, the funny thing is I was like exhausted from the other errands I was running. And this is long. No one cares about all this, but I want to say it, right? I was so tired from running my errands all day. And I was like, oh. whenever I have free time, I make sure I go to the thrift store. And then I at least go and haul. Right? And I was like, oh, I really don't want to go. And I went late too, which is crazy. I don't, was it a Friday? Maybe it was a Thursday. I don't know. But I went late and I was like, there's, I'm wasting my time. There's not going to be anything in there. And then when I have like, when I don't have a lot of time, I just go in and I get shoes. Like I say in all my videos, shoes is my main like inventory. I love selling shoes. Um, but it was great. My honey hole came through. Sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> And it was great. So I am going to share some of my finds with you today. And I don't have a lot of time because I'm actually filming this during a lunch break. So I'm going to speed right through this. If there's anything that you're interested in, um, my Poshmark closet will be linked below. But you know what? You can, and I think I have my Instagram linked below. I'm going to have like my Instagram link below too. Shoot me a message. I'll give you a great price. You know, I don't know how many people are watching my videos. But still. You know, you see something and you know somebody would like something that I'm selling, I'll give you a great price, you know, if you send me a message and say, oh, I saw it on your um, YouTube channel. Okay, so let's begin. So I'm going to start with shoes. And I'm only going to show one side of the shoe because I just don't want to hold two shoes up. So that's it. First thing up are these Vans. <laughs> These are a size, okay, women's eight. Now, you know what these vans remind you of, right? The Squid Game. They were wearing these vans. Um, they've become popular because of that show, and I scored a pair. So, yeah, I'll be selling them. They're in excellent condition. Doesn't even need a little wipe down or anything. I don't like cleaning shoes either. So, like, I only pick up stuff that's going to be, like, less work. Funny thing is the comps, I want to say the comps was like 45, 50, which is fine. But I would think with the popularity of that show, unless that has like run its course, right? That would be a little bit more. But I think I am going to start mine at 59. So let's first shoe up. <laughs> You're going to hear I'm dropping on the floor too. Um, So this booty here. I'm going to sell it. This is Miss Albright. Now, Miss Albright, is it Miss Albright Australia? Oh, no, no. Oh, Miss Albright Philadelphia. Where did I get Miss Albright from? Size 11. So it's a good size. This doesn't even look like a size 11. So you ladies with 11, size 11 feet, you're going to love this. This looks small for a size 11. But it's a size 11. Leather. Um... Yep, zipper closure, excellent condition. Let me show you the bottoms. Right? Now, Miss Albright is sold um, through Anthropology. I'm pretty sure it's sold through Anthropology. I had a bag from Miss Albright. It was, um, it had dogs on it, right? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe, like, the style that Miss Albright has, but it's perky quirky that's what we'll say the designs are quirky so I had a bag that I got from the thrift store and it wasn't like in excellent condition well not to my standards it, people would be like it's excellent but it had like a lot of scuffs and marks on it and it just had like a screen printing of dogs on it you guys I sold that bag if I can find it I will put a like a the picture up I don't know if I can find it because I sold that a while ago I want to say I sold it for like 89 
And I was shocked because I was like, this isn't like in great condition. I mean, if you want to put the work in and clean the bag, fine. But it's so, and then that's what made me like look into Miss Albright. So for, she's quirky designs and stuff like that. And her, her stuff usually sells. So those boots... Because we're coming out of boot season, I think I'm only going to sell those. For, well, I'll list them for $69. I take offers, you guys. Next shoe up is this Madewell booty. Now, number one thing I love about Madewell, I love their shoe. Their, well, I like Madewell clothes. Some people don't like Madewell. But Madewell shoes and bags sell. So, if you, like, I don't, I skip on their t-shirts, but... Yeah, I even like their dresses. So maybe well dresses, shoes, and bags definitely so. Um, this is like no, I don't know if it's an older size. I actually have the name of it, but this is a size eight and a half. It's actually a wine color. I don't know if you can see like the burgundy tint to it, but it's a wine color. Made in wait, leather. I was gonna say maiden. Made in leather. Yeah, and I said made in leather. <laughs> leather composition right this I will list for 59 right and I did say size eight and a half made in Italy you guys that I'm Russian because I'm trying to get through this so I'm gonna be making it's like talking out <laughs> okay um next up how pretty is this I bet you thought I was gonna say cute if you've been watching my videos mm -mm. How pretty is this? And there I go with pink. This has got to be like my third pink booty. I don't know what it is. But anyway, what I liked was this little ring. This little metal ring on the bottom of, um, in the back of the shoe. So this is Jagger. Jagger? Jagger. Jagger. Um, leather. I don't know Jagger. And I've been reselling for a while, and I sell shoes, and I, I think I've come across this brand before, but it never, like, nothing makes me want to pick it up. So, but, so this is called, hold on, I have to look down to see the actual name for this one. This is, oh, <laughs> it's the Jagger Bullring Pink Booty. And the funny thing is the comps were good on this one. I think I saw comps for like 129, 139. I'm going to list these for 99. Yeah, size 38. But it's just this detail right here. That's I love this. That's so cute. And I said cute. Next up to find the name for this boot and um, the name that's listed on here is this name pan this is panqua 37 size 37 okay. but that's not the boots name because i couldn't find any comps or anything to confirm it so this is leaf skin berlin and i've sold their shoes before so they sell good they take a while to sell but they still sell good i think these sell on anthropology but see I like that little detail right there excellent condition size 37 and I think I have this down to list for 99 by the time you see this video all of these things will be listed as I'm filming it I haven't listed them yet I've just done my research on them in comps and my try to true favorite brand to sell Minnetonka I like selling Minnetonka. He, you know, they don't sell for a lot, but yeah, I've sold a lot of Minnetonkas, like the suede fringe moccasins, the ones that come up your ankle or like even to your knee. I've sold those before. I sell like these driving loafers type ones too. I sell them um, enough, but they usually, they don't sell a lot. They don't sell for a lot. I think I've got like 25, maybe 35. Let me scratch that. Yeah, yeah, I think I've got for this. But this I'm not selling for that much. This is an excellent condition. I'm not going to sell it for a lot, but still. It is a size 7. 
And it, yeah, it's never been worn. Like if you look at the inside, and it still has its like little paper thing to keep it stiff right here. So either thirty nine or forty nine. I'll list these four, but they're cute. Together. All right. So shoes is my main thing when I go to the thrift store, right? That's what I look for. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna walk past clothes and other stuff like that. No. I, you know, I look at everything, but, you know, short period of time that I'm picking up shoes. You guys. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? All right. Let me talk about it. I have sold three fur coats. So I'd love to sell furs year round. I don't know if furs are popular only because I've sold three and I've sold them like sporadically I don't like you know whenever I come a good come across a good price then I'll um, sell and also I only pick it up from my honey hole store because I trust them like I've sold them in the past never had any issues so I only pick it up from here the thing is I can't, they price them so high in the winter that I have to wait till like we're starting to ease out of winter for me to pick them up. Cause then they're priced to where I can resell and, you know, actually make some money off of us. So I wait till, so I got this for a great price. Let me make sure the price isn't on here. This is vintage and people buy furs with people's initials on them. I mean, who's really seen the inside of your coat, honestly? So it doesn't even matter. And who knows why you have that initial in there? I feel like it's my grandmother coat. If anybody, I mean, no one's going to dare ask you, so it doesn't matter. But isn't she gorgeous? Now, I love this part of my leather dress. So my initial research, and if I'm wrong, you guys can tell me below, but this is Fox. This is Fox. I know what rabbit is like, so this fox. Oh, and she has pockets. Two. Um, so here's my not a dilemma, it's just something I've been thinking about, and I don't know what I'm going to. The last three that I sold, I took it to a fur salon for it to be cleaned, and um, I think that helps sell it, but this isn't like gross or filthy or anything the other ones weren't either but I think the other one was it had it was more white and so it definitely needed a cleaning I don't know if I'm gonna clean this one this this is beautiful I don't think it needs like this was well taken care of so I don't think it needs a cleaning cleaning first also they're not that expensive I mean in my area they charge me 60 to and you know you build that into your price and I know I sold I sold them for really good prices. I sold one for four hundred dollars. Yeah. So they sell good. So I like picking up furs. The, the, that's the only thing. I don't know if I'm going to clean her yet. So we'll see. We have time. You know, I can wait on selling her because it's either you want a fur or you don't want a fur. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. You're gonna buy it. All right, some other clothes I got from my store. Clothes? Okay. This actually I wanted to save for last, but it's... All right, we'll get back to this one. Not yet, because I got to talk about that one. Um, I got new with tags, and I'll also put the sticker up. I mean the sticker. Oh, my God. I'll also put up... Um, the picture, the stock photo, the stock photo for this one. I'll, I'll show you the stock photo for this one. So as you can see, this is a uh, dress the population, a uh, canary sand sheet dress. It still has the tags from Nordstrom. Um, I wasn't gonna get this because at first I was like. Oh, but this is like Easter Mother's Day type dress. So I did pick it up. It's a size medium, new with tags. Um, I think I would sell this for, funny thing is it retails for 194 
But since I want this to be a quick flip, I'm probably going to sell this for, I'll list it, $69 or $79. And my prices, I do believe the rule of thumb, like it should be half of whatever retail is. But if it's no longer in stock, um, and depending on the season, that's how I kind of pick and choose what my pricing will be. Um, if it's saturated, of course, I want to price to sell. I don't want to keep stuff. So, you know, I'm not, you've heard me say, I am not a long hauler. Like, I want things in and out in my closet. So, that's how I price. So, all right. I'm trying to bring the next bag over. <laughs> that pending down. Uh. Alright, so this jacket, right? Oh, look, okay. I picked up a lot of jackets. I didn't pick up too many items. I think I picked up like nine or ten. And the shoes were like five, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. I told you this was going to be fast. Um, this jacket. How adorable. Y'all thought I was going to say cute. How adorable is this? So this is a quilted, um, I want to say like a cottage court design, right? Cropped jacket. I like this. Now, this is Forever 21. It's a size small, new with tags. Do you guys put Forever 21 as like juniors? I don't. Because a lot of their stuff sometimes is oversized. One, because like that's the style we're, we're going through right now. And, you know, you know, everybody wears Forever 21. I don't think it's necessarily just teens wearing it. But I love this jacket. So if it doesn't sell, I am going to... I don't think my daughter is into this. I was going to... When she edits this video, she's probably going to be like, No, Mom, I'm not into that. But I think this is so cute. And y'all can see it's pink. I need to say pink is... Pink is not my favorite color, but I tend to pick up a lot of pink. So I thought this was cute. This I would list for maybe it didn't cost me a lot. I gotta think of how. I'll list this for 39. I mean, if, at the end of the day, it's forever 21, right? Who are we kidding? And my last item. Yeah. Told you this was short. My, this one we're gonna talk about. <clears throat> I'm going to have to, I can't even put a picture because I can't find like a, a proper stock photo for it. <laughs> All right. This takes a special person to wear, right? If I had Depop, this would sell, but I don't sell on Depop and I can't, I don't know. I'm not, yeah, no, I'm not about to learn another platform. I'm too <laughs> far gone <laughs> to like try to learn another platform. But this, this is stuff that would sell on Depop. So I'm hoping it was sell fast on Poshmark, but okay. Let me show you the tag. All right, this is SMFK, right? That is a Japanese streetwear brand. When I Googled it, right? It's a Japanese streetwear bank brand. And it's by two designers, Sam and Frank. I can't remember their last name. I, when I was in the store, one comp came up. And you shouldn't do that. You should find more comps. But I just, I love the color. I love the coat. And I was like, oh, that's like, that's a statement coat. I love it. I'm going to get it. And it, it was priced good. So I, you know, picked it up. Then I got home to do more research, right? And I was like, the comps say they sell for $500. This is polyester. Not that it matters. I couldn't find a stock photo for this one, but I found stock photos of like other um, coats that they're selling and I'll show that up. And it also was only in like this, on, no, it was on two sites. One was called, I think it's Shine Population and the other site was called Made in China, right? So it's definitely geared to like the Asian market and it's like an Asian streetwear brand, right? And their coats were going $500 plus. But because that was the only research I found, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. And I did put 
I did ask my, I'm part of a reseller Facebook group, and I did ask them on there, like, have you ever seen this? Like, do you know anything about it? And I put the information that I found on it. And what I think I want to do is I want to put it on eBay, right? And I want to see how it sells, because eBay is an international market. And I guess those who know, know, um, and they'll be interested in it. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Because I don't feel comfortable pricing it at $500 when I can't find enough information about it. Right? So, and I'm not on Depop. So, yeah, I think I'm going to throw it up on eBay. Um, start it at a good price. So that way, even if it sells, I'll be fine with it. But if you score this for like, and of course, I mean, yeah. Because I'm not pricing it at $500. And it's funny, it's another comp on Poshmark. They're selling... It's like a blue fur thing too, but it's different. And they're selling it for five eighty, and I was like, mm. but it's only like one seller selling it. So I might have scored. So I am super excited for this one. I just need to take pictures and list it. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I have for today. Um, stay tuned. My video after this should definitely be my what sold for January. Um, other than that, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and come back next week. I drop videos every Sunday and um, you can follow me on IG and now I'm on TikTok, right? Like I've, I've been on TikTok, but like now I'm on TikTok and I, I have so much fun on TikTok. My daughter doesn't like how much fun I'm having on TikTok. So I'm going to have more videos up there. Of course, they'll all be reseller related. Um, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, YouTube.